Nancy Pelosi met with Taiwan's president, Tsai Ing-wen. Her visit had already triggered the ire of China. For Beijing, the self-ruled island is part of its territory, and Pelosi's visit itself is a way of questioning its sovereignty. The U.S. House Speaker did not mince words when addressing Taiwan's situation. Today, the world faces a choice between democracy and autocracy. America's determination to preserve democracy here in Taiwan and around the world remains ironclad. Since 1979, the U.S. has kept an ambiguous line on Taiwan, adopting the One China policy, which recognizes Beijing. But the U.S. has unofficial ties with Taiwan and it provides the island defense weapons. The Taiwanese president has been defiant towards the One China policy. Facing military threats, Taiwan will not back down. We will firmly uphold the nation's sovereignty and continue to hold the line of defense of democracy. Relations between the U.S. and China have deteriorated in recent years. China condemned the visit as a threat to peace in the region. The United States should not dream of obstructing China's reunification. Taiwan is a part of China. A complete reunification of China is an inevitable trend of history. We will leave no room for the Taiwan independence forces and external interference. The visit has prompted Beijing to carry out joint air and sea drills, with Taiwan saying Chinese exercises have violated its sovereignty.